Okay, so I've been taking some time off because I needed to focus on myself, but enough with that. Why need to talk something about pretty serious? So lately, Mr. Beast has been getting in some trouble because there were like these fake accusations, there were these things just spreading around that are pretty fake, all right? These things were pretty fake, there were rumors and stuff that Mr. Beast is uncomfortable, etc., etc. So everything started when some time ago, in 2022, Chris, which is one of the guys from the Mr. Beast team, started showing off his painted nails, trying on some new stuff, some unusual, and people were pretty upset with this, like, you have a family, you have a wife, you have a child, you're married, how do you dare do this, what is your child going to think when they, he sees you as a father, how dare you, so over time the hate grew more and more, and finally it came to a situation where in a recent video, uh, opening 1000 Mystery Arts, uh, there, the whole Mr. Beast crew was opening well, Mystery Arts, and Chris was in a very feminine outfit, and it was just insane, like, people were disliking the video as hell, like, people were absolutely destroying it with the dislikes. It wasn't nowhere near as a record for dislikes, but for a Mr. Beast video, I think it was a record because the amount of dislikes that that video got is just, is just insane. So, and overall, uh, this hate over this one guy that had a family, he divorced, and now he is transgender. Like, I wouldn't even wish this for my worst enemy. Like, here's the thing. You are a human being, all right? This is not like... Pakistan or Afghanistan where being trans or gay will basically mean a death sentence for you. This is the United States, man. I know people in the United States are wilder than in Europe. It's a fact. Everyone knows that. But what I'm saying is that people shouldn't do this like people should uh, these types of things destroy a person's life it can lead them to do some harmful things and even it can lead to suicide there were many, there were so many people like there was this one girl which was in her very early 20s she, this professional professional boxer woman she committed suicide because she couldn't handle the hate online anymore and it appears that Chris is getting like so much negativity, so much dislikes and so much hate because he bet apparently betrayed his family, which in reality, it's not our business. It's his own life and he could do whatever he want. It's his problem that he divorced. It's his problem that he wants to, uh, uh, he wants to dress more femininely, wants to do his nails. It's his deal and people shouldn't have the right to tell them what to do and how to do it. Like, it's a simple thing. Mind your own business and do your own things. And people should not be harassed for this type of stuff.